Hello! In this video, I am going to teach you how to multiply a whole number and a proper fraction or vice versa, a proper fraction multiplied with a whole number. Okay, let's start. Example number one. Okay, we have here four times two thirds. A whole number and a fraction. 4 times 2 thirds equals, this is how we are going to do this. Just multiply the whole number and the numerator. You've heard it right. It's very easy. 4 times 2 equals 8. And then, just copy the denominator 3. That's it. So, multiply, in, in multiplying a whole number and a fraction, simply multiply the whole number and the numerator of the fraction, then copy the denominator. So, that's it. 4 times 2 thirds equals 8 thirds. But looking at this fraction here, which is our product, we can see that this is an improper fraction. Therefore, if it is an improper fraction, we have something to do to finalize the answer. So, to finalize the answer, we have to divide the numerator divided by the denominator, which is 3. So, this becomes 8 divided by 3. Okay? So, 8 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 8 minus 6 equals 2. So, the final answer would be 2, which is our quotient here. And our remainder here will become the numerator of the fraction. And the divisor here becomes the denominator of the fraction. So, this is now our final answer. Final answer, why? Because this 2 third here, which is a fraction, is already in its simplest form or lowest term. So, 4 times 2 thirds is 2 and 2 thirds. So, that's the answer. Okay? So, now let us proceed with another example here. Let's say our example starts with a fraction multiplied with a whole number. Let's say we have here uh, 8 tenth. Okay? 8 tenth times... Okay, let's say uh, 5. Okay, so 8, 10 times 5, the same thing as we did here. So 8 times 5 equals 40. And then copy the denominator, which is 10. Again, 8 times 5 equals 40. Copy the denominator, which is 10. So our answer here is 40 over 10. This is an improper fraction, therefore, we have to make it into a mixed number. So, how do we do that? To simplify that, we have to divide. So, 40 divided by 10, actually, you can do that mentally. It's very easy, but anyway, just for the, uh, for the sake of this solution here, 40 divided by 10 equals 4. And 4 times 10 equals 40. Okay, 0. So, the final answer here is 4. Okay, some of the easiest way also method is by cancellation. Okay, cancel this one, cancel this one, and 4. Or 40 divided by 10. Okay, so the final answer here is 4. That's very easy. There is another way of solving it, the easier way. Okay. And we call that as the cross cancellation method. Whichever method uh, you will find it easier or convenient for you to do, you can do it as long as you derive the correct answer. Okay, what, whichever you feel comfortable to do, uh, to, to solve it, so do it. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say we have here 28. Okay, times 914. Okay, use a bigger number here. 
Okay, 28 times 9 over 14. Okay, and the first example here, I said we simply multiply the whole number and the numerator. Simply multiply the numerator and the whole number. But in this case, we won't. Iba naman, we use another way. And you know what that other way is? It is called cross cancellation. So how do we do that? This is how. Okay, we will make this whole number 28 into a fraction by putting 1 as its denominator. 28 as a whole number and 28 over 1 are equal. It's just the same. Uh, it so happened that this uh, this uh, feature is in a fractional form. 28 over 1 times 9 over 14. So it's just like we are multiplying two fractions here. So as you can see here, uh, I said earlier that we will use the cross cancellation. What are we going to cancel? We are going to cancel the numbers that have the GCF or the greatest common factor. Okay. What are the numbers that we can have GCF? We can see 28 and 14. 28 is divisible by 14. And 14, of course, is divisible by 14. So, the GCF here, again, GCF means greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of that is 14. So, 28 divided by 14 equals 2. So, that is now our new numerator. And then, 14 divided by 14 is 1. So, 1 now is our new denominator. So, let's, we can now proceed with the, multi, uh, with the multiplication. 2 times 9 equals 18, right? And then, our new denominator, 1 here, times 1, or just simply copy the denominator, which is 1. So, our answer is 18 over 1. Or, 18 over 1, of course, is equivalent to 18. So, this is now our final answer. If we are going to do... Uh, the method of how we do this, we can, can we still derive 18 as the final answer? Let's check. Let's see if we can have that. We will not do the cross cancellation. We will multiply. So, 28, let's see if we can derive this 18 as the answer. 28 times 9 over 14. Okay. If we will multiply 28 times 9, our answer there would be 252. 252. Okay? And then, copy the 14, which is the denominator. This is an improper fraction. So, what we will do is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 252 divided by 14 let's see if we can have this answer here 2, uh, 2 divided by 14 cannot be so it becomes 25 divided by 14 is 1 1 times 14 equals 14 25 minus 14 5 minus 4 equals 1 2 minus 1 equals 1 we have to bring down the 2 112 divided by 14 equals 8. Oh, we have it. 8 times 4 equals 32. Bring down 2, carry 3. 8 times 1 equals 8. 8 plus 3 equals 11. So, there you have it. So, the final answer, our quotient is 18. So, the same. Just the same. Whichever method you will do, uh, what, whatever uh, process you find it comfortable for you to do as long as you derive the correct answer that's it that's how you are going to multiply a whole number and a fraction or a fraction with the whole number God bless